Hello friends, in today's video we are going to see what things in Harry Potter world match closely to our own reality or real muggle world. Of course, muggles are nowhere near achieving the feats performed by J.K. Rowling's imaginations of wizards every day. But as our technology is progressing, we are getting closer to the things that may have been possessed by wizarding world. Here are a few in our opinion takes us close to wizarding world. First one is flying cars. The flying blue Angela made its introduction in Harry Potter and the Chambers of Secret in 2002. When Fred, George and Ron fly from Burroughs to Harry's home in Privet Drive to make him escape from Uncle Vernon. The Ford Angela used in the movie was a 1959 model that cost roughly around 310 pounds at the time, offered a variety of colors and came with an engine that could do 36 horsepower. Today in the real world, there are multiple projects going on that are very close to, to offering flying car as a reality. A few to mention are PALV Liberty. PALV is a Dutch aerospace company and they have started offering their flying car project to Liberty to the customers. In flight, PALV is a combination of autogyro or gyrocopter and a car. The aircraft is intended for flying within a city or for city to city flying. It can reach 100 miles per hour in the drive mode and 112 miles per hour in the flight and it can fly to an altitude of 11,500 feet. Terra Fugia Transition With retractable wings and wheels, the Terra Fugia is another hybrid model designed to be equally at home and in the skies. That's not the only way the Terra Fugia is close to a flying car. It's also powered by a gasoline electric hybrid drivetrain that features a boost mode for an extra burst of speed when flying. Aeromobile. It is offering two versions of flying car 4.0 and NXT, which is one is a two-seater and other is a four-seater. Inspired by the mythical winged horse Pegasus, the Aeromobile is an high-end vehicle. It can seamlessly transform from car to an aircraft from driving to flying in under three minutes. Worko or VRCO has a vision for a flying car with a new form of personal aircraft as the initial phase. It's a VTOL vehicle which means it can vertically take off or land without a need of a runway. With the capacity of four passenger, it features detection and avoidance technology with safety measures including a ballistic parachute and a low altitude crash prevention systems. A few VTOL projects are to mention are Lilium Jet, Airbus Vahana, DeLorean DR7 and Kitty Hawk Cora. These projects are ensuring that we will have our own flying car soon in our backyards. And may be expensive one, but it's going to be real. Next one is Cloak of Invisibility. As a prize for outwitting death in Tales of Beetle and Bard, the third brother received Invisibility Cloak, with which he evaded death until his old age, and when it's his time to die, he met him like friend, unlike his two older brothers. This is the origin story of Cloak that is shown in Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows. Although the Cloak made its first introduction in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, it made its appearance in almost all works. The Cloak has the power of making the subject invisible. In most cases it was Harry and his friends. And it can ward any spell off. So hey, you are invisible with the Cloak. The Cloak was given to Harry anonymously by Dumbledore and he left a note to use it well. Well it appears the thought of donning an invisibility cloak has met its real world equivalent. The mention of this practical invisibility technology has come from the minds over at the Hyperstealth Biotechnology Corporation. This Canadian camouflage company made the headlines after unveiling its own iteration of invisibility cloak dubbed as Quantum Stealth. Quantum Stealth can not only hide or distort objects from onlookers, 
but it can conceal those objects from infrared and ultraviolet images. This is all possible thanks to what is called a lenticular lens. A lenticular lens is a corrugated sheet in which each ridge is made up of an outward curving lens, which might be seen in old holographic baseball or Pokemon cards. Quantum Stealth found a way to arrange layers of lenticular lenses to create dead spots at certain distances behind the material. When viewed from the front, the object behind the material is not visible, but the background is. This creates the illusion of invisibility. The company's prototype material is as thin as paper, cheap to produce and requires no power source. Very close to getting a invisibility cloak in our own hands. The next one in the line is protective enchantments. These were charms used to protect an area for an extended period of time. The spell shielded specific area and could have wide variety of application. With many different types of protective enchantment existing, these enchantments have so many different applications like the muggle repelling charm, the movie lotter charm and the disillusionment charm. But the one that we want to point out is the one that were casted during the Battle of Hogwarts. They were like Protego Maxima, Beyond Tuturi, and Repello in Mesium. The purpose of these enchantments were to protect the wizarding community from Death Eaters. Now, a similar kind of protective enchantments exist in the real world. And here are a couple of effective ones. Iron Dome. Zrael's Iron Dome is an effective trap-toed multi-mission mobile air defense system developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. The system detects, analyzes, and intercepts a range of incoming threats, including CRAM, precision-guided missiles, cruise missiles, and unmanned aerial vehicles. It has intercepted so far more than 2,500 incoming targets with a success rate of over 90%. Next one is Aegis Combat System. Aegis, which means shield, is the Navy's most modern surface-to-air combat system. Aegis was designed and developed as a complete system integrating state-of-art radar and missile system. It is designed as a complete system. The missile launching element the computer programs, the radar, and the displays are fully integrated to work together. This makes the Aegis system the first fully integrated combat system built to defend against advanced air and surface threats. We have already covered Cloak of Invisibility, which could also be a part of this charm like Salvio Axia. Next one in the list is Levitation, Wingardium Leviosa was a charm used to make objects fly or levitate. It was taught to first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Levitation is an integral part of the movie, shown on various occasions such as floating candles in Great Hall of Hogwarts. Hermione was the first one in her class to recite it correctly. Ron used it to defeat Mountain Troll, and Harry used it effectively to levitate the sidecar when battling with Death Eaters and many more. In the book and movie, it has many versions of it in the way it works, such as locomotion charm and hover charm. In the real world, we have our own versions of this levitation, which does not make any object to levitate at will, but makes good use for muggles. For instance, magnetic levitation. In short, it is also called megaleb. It is a method by which an object is suspended with no support other than magnetic fields. There are two kinds of levitation in this method, attractive and the repulsive, both depending on the characteristics of magnetic poles. Currently maglev vehicles are capable of carrying people and material up to speeds of several hundred miles per hour or the proposed assisting in the launch of space vehicles. Electrostatic levitation. It is the process of using an electric field to levitate a charged object and counteract the effects of gravity. 
In other words, it creates a condition called microgravity in which object appears to be weightless, like astronauts floating in space. With this type of levitation, we levitate small, typically several millimeters in diameter, material samples for the measurement of thermophysical properties such as density, surface tension, and viscosity. This provides a quantifiable research for material science studies in a microgravity environment. Next in the line is acoustic levitation. With this method, we are suspending matter in a medium with intense sound waves to counteract gravity. Here is how acoustic levitation application looks like. These are sound waves which appear to vibrate rather than traveling from place to place. Hence, they look like standing waves, as you can see with the droplets. There are unproven claims that this technology has been used to create pyramids by levitating such huge stones. Along with that, this has been an integral part of Buddhist monks. Currently, it is used to give dynamic control over hovering objects. This is an ability which is useful in pharmaceutical and electronics industries. Jet suits. The suits, which use more horsepower than Formula 1 racing car, allow people to become real-life Iron Man. The flights are made possible thanks to innovative, super-fast gravity-defying jet suits by Gravity Industries. There is an honorable mention of gyroscopic levitation, which was presented by Eric Lethwaite, a professor of heavy electrical engineering at London's Imperial College of Science and Technology. He has pioneered the idea of inventing an anti-gravity motor with gyroscopic principles. Theoretically, the machine could produce weightlessness, let White said. A spaceship with this device could be blasted from Earth's gravitational field with conventional rocket fuel, let White said, then without friction to hamper the anti gravity engine, nuclear power or solar energy could begin operating the gyroscope and to drive the vehicle to another solar system. I hope conceptually we get an idea of what levitation is and how close it is to wizarding world. We leave it to your comments. Next in line is Verita Serum. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Dumbledore uses a root potion on evil spy Barty Crouch Jr. In Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, Professor Umbridge threatens to use it on Harry. A serum to make people tell the truth would be useful in Muggle world. There are a few forms that we use in today's world that could be closely attributed to this. So what does a truth serum mean in Muggle world? That's a term that was used to describe the use of certain drugs. Most commonly barbiturates like sodium amethyl and sodium pentathol to try to extract truthful statement from people about their past experiences. What the term really meant was that the people who used the serum believed that it made people unable to censor themselves and they would just empty their memories into a narrative statement. Polygraph is another technique to extract the truth out of your subject. The technique is based on set of questions and their responses depending on how your body is reacting. Those responses are run through a machine which charts a graph and depending on where that graph lands, we know whether the person is telling the truth or not. Polygraph and truth serum are not accepted everywhere and these are just ideas and drugs which are seen as a last resort. We wish that Verita Serum is a reality in Muggle World too. Next in line is moving portraits. It is a very touching feature of Harry Potter's world where portraits are able to talk and move around from picture to picture. They are drawn to behave is the character they are drawn into and their limitations are at will of the painter who drew them. The portrait would be able to use some of the subject's favorite phrases and imitate their general appearances based on how the subject appeared to the painter. Like the portrait of Sir Kotkin, who was always challenging people to fight 
while falling off his horse, or the portrait of fat lady, always indulging in her love for food and drink. These animated images occurred in a continuous loop. Some reacted to their surroundings. Kilroy Lockhart has countless framed photographs of himself in his office. It is an integral part of Harry Potter's world, keeping and revealing so many secrets. Do we have such things in Muggle world? There are, but it is nowhere close to what Wizarding World offers. This Kickstarter project called Looking Glass lets you print your holographic image and show it in 3D. Looking Glass portrait is designed for millions of people that work or play in 3D in any way. There are AI created 3D images which could be alternate way of showing these imaginary portraits. The combination of multiple looped GIFs that are produced on devices like phones, computer and tablets or video combination are alternate option. There are some static images like laser 3D printed images which gives you outlook of depth. We hope these things are at least a happy reminder that we may be closer to visiting community and not so muggle after all. Thank you for making it this far. Hope you liked our video and please consider subscribing.